Hi. I, yes, Bhavani Shwari, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Dr. MJR Educational and Research Institute, University, with autonomy status, Madhravayu, going to present you about the scientific point of view by JBS Halden. JBS Halden was a British born genetist and evaluationary biologist. He contributed in the development of new Darwinian thinking. He wrote a popular book named My Friend, Mr. Leakey, which contains several stories and daedalus on the science and the future. In the scientific point of view, JBS Halden opposes superstitions and supports rational thinking. His famous quotes, I believe that the scientist is trying to expand absolute truth and the artist absolute beauty so that I find in art and science and in an attempt to live a good life, all the religion I want. In his uh, prose, he has four theories. Let us see what they are. This is worthless nonsense. This is an interesting but pervasive point of view. This is true but quite unimportant. I always said so. In the scientific point of view, he supports rational thinking while declaiming superstitions. He says that science affects us in two ways. Let us see what they are. Human race is benefited by the applications of science. We are benefited by its applications be it driving in a motor car instead of horse drawn vehicle, being treated for disease by a doctor instead of a witch. Secondly, it has a marked impression on the opinions, as now everyone believes that the earth is round and the heavens are nearly empty instead of solid. According to Halden, if we are to control our own and one another's action, the scientific point of view must come out of the laboratory and be applied to the events of daily life. He adds that it is foolish to think that the scientific views which have already developed agriculture, industry, war and medicine will prove useless when applied to the family, the nation or the human race. He quotes St. Paul's words that the world is ruled by demons. Harlan modifies this statement saying that the world is misruled by ignorance and unscientific thinking. He says that science attempts to be truthful and impartial. By comparing scientific point of view with legal point of view, he says that a judge may only be impartial in giving his judgment between two individuals, whereas a scientist is impartial not only between people but also about the tapeworm and the solar system. By comparing scientific point of view with God's view, Halden says that scientists simply interpret the consequences many actions rather than passing judgments, which is while well done by God. He talks about issues of Negroes and white men. Let us see what he says. The tendency of average man, as Halden opens, always dwell on the emotional and ethical side of an issue rather than on facts. For this, first he mentioned the problem of American Negroes. Some Americans believe that Negroes are inferior to them and so should be segregated from them, while some believe that they should enjoy the same rights like white Americans. But the scientist makes it clear that both these groups of people are comfortable only in their respective areas and both of them die of consumption when they step into each other's areas. Then he continues his argument with sin, punishment and disease. He remarks that our approach to the problem of disease is even less rational. He says that the pre-Christians believe that if someone was suffering from any disease, it was a punishment from some goddesses for a sin, either by the sick person or his family or of his whole community. But Harlan makes it clear that civilized and savage, that means uncivilized man, health and sickness are equally parts of nature. Then, finally, he concludes like this. 
the average man and women should not be guided by false principles unless and until humans adopt scientific point of view the enemies of science can't be conquered hope you understand you write an assignment of the scientific point of view as he says many people are unscientific you discuss the statement with reference to the essay the scientific point of view thank you